Today I'm going to be reviewing the Vatcher 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate 12.8 volt battery. I'm also going to tear it down and show you what's inside. Let's get started. But first, let's go over physical dimensions. 20 inches by 9 inches by 10 and a half inches. It weighs a whopping 60 pounds, almost 61 pounds, or 27 and a half kilogram. It comes with a very nice manual. Everything in here is clearly written. There's even discharge curves that shows different temperatures and discharge rates. Here's a list of precautions. Do not immerse the battery in water or seawater. Do not connect the battery to an electrical outlet. The battery taps are not so stubborn. This battery has a Bluetooth control and I have connected a 12 volt incandescent light bulb. And this light bulb runs at about 5 amps. Let me show you the Bluetooth app. So over here is the main page and the only page for this app. It will show you the state of charge of the battery. Down here it will show the battery voltage. This here shows the current output being used right now. And that's the power, 67 watts. There are four cells in this battery. And the cell with the highest voltage is 3.385. And that is the cell with the lowest voltage. And that's the voltage difference between the high and the low. And all the way down here, we will show you the four cells with individual voltage for each cell. Up here, we've got the temperature sensor. This is a cycle count. We've got two cycles because this battery is new and I have only charged it twice. And that is all about this app. There's nothing fancy about this app. It has basic monitoring function. You got the state of charge of the battery. You got the battery voltage input and output, individual cell voltage, temperature, and cycle count. I have charged the battery to 100%. Let's do a discharge test. All right, here we go. We are discharging at 10 amps. 10 amp on this is the maximum discharge rate for this uh, discharger. For 300 amp hour battery, it's gonna take me 30 hours. It's gonna take a while. All right, it has been 10 hours. Let's see what we got. 10 hour, 12 minutes. Capacity, 102 amp hour. Voltage, 12.7 volts. Still going strong. And I have recorded everything here. 23 hours. Capacity 231 amp hour. Voltage goes down to 12.4. We finally made it. It's been 30 hours exactly. Capacity 301 amp hour. Voltage right now 11.8 volts. It's still going but it's already passed. 300 amp hour. I'm just gonna let it run until the BMS shuts down. Alright, the BMS just shut down so we are done. Check this out. Total time 31 hours 17 minutes. Total capacity 314 amp hours. Wow, that's a lot more than the 300 amp hour ready capacity. Here is all the data I have collected for a whopping 31 hours and here is the beautiful discharge curve it stays perfectly straight two-thirds of the way and then it starts to go down it's time for a load test this battery is capable of putting out 200 amp continuous discharge so let's go ahead and test that my inverter is only 2000 watts and 200 amp is over the limit of my inverter so that's why I have two 2000 watts inverter totaling 4000 watts I've got a 1500 watt heater connected to the top inverter and a 1500 watt electric kettle connected to the bottom inverter let's go ahead and turn it on the top inverter has a phantom load of 1 amp let's turn on the bottom inverter the bottom one 
also has a 1 amp phantom load so total of almost 2 amps idle let's go ahead and turn on the electric kettle 133 amps let's put a timer on I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes all right it's been running for over two minutes now and you can hear my water is about to boil so far so good now let's go ahead and push it over 200 amps and see what we got 137 amps 170 180 190 200 210 220 forgot to put on the timer 233 amps there we go it turns off all right let me turn this off all right the overcurrent protection kicked in and turned off the whole system and it was around i would say it's not 13 seconds because i was about 10 seconds late so i would say about 20 seconds in after you got over 200 amps and look at that the bms turned back on to 13 volts after i would say about 30 seconds or so so there you have it the battery runs fine for anything under 200 amps when you go over 200 amps the BMS will shut down to protect the battery from being overloaded. And when you go over 200 amps, you get about 20 seconds or so before the BMS shuts down. And then you got 30 seconds for the BMS to turn back on.